Uh, we live now. Yay. Are we back? Can't quite tell. Bitrate looks good, but I can't see a preview video. Um, oh, there we go. I see preview. Stream was gone for a bit. Seems good now. Okay. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let me just try refreshing the chat in here, because I don't see it on OBS in here, because I don't there see it. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? Um, so, water goes here. Um, I don't think we can reduce the pipe count here, but we're only looking at like five or six hundred on each side, so that should probably be fine. Uh, we're not going to have these like overlap because... Actually, we might. If these were standalone, I would go for two heat exchangers per high temp turbine generator. But we need 6.25 uh, high temp turbine generators worth of power. So 1024 times 6.25, 6400 fluid. Over 562 is, let's call it 12 uh, high temp heat exchangers. And we need to support seven turbines. Two, three, four, five. So that's six and five. We could do like 12 and 10. That's not really what I'm looking for. Like, not even close to the ratio. Yeah, no. Alright, cancel that. So these would need to be... more like this, I suppose. Um, so that is three and six. We need it to be seven to twelve, ideally. We're obviously not going to just stretch it out this long. Um, could do some on the opposite side. Well, let's just start with this. So this would be eight. Let's call it seven to fourteen. We could save two of these. So maybe like that. Hmm. 12 to 7, that is our ratio. Maybe... Maybe this could be on the side. Something like that. Uh, 
Um, I guess if I did it like this, it's going to not be symmetrical because this has a central tile. Do you need seven high temp turbines, considering the condenser turbines are also there? Yeah, I did calculate um, the condenser turbines. I was hoping that I could just have six high temp turbine generators and the condenser turbines would make up the difference. Um, but after doing the math, no, it does seem that we need seven high temp turbine generators um, for this ship. Which uh, seems like a lot, I would say. It's going to be... I doubt we're going to be able to line this up conveniently. Oh, uh, maybe. If this goes here, this goes here... Let's just remove these for now. And then... What? That might actually be kind of convenient. Uh, it's one off being super convenient, but that's okay. We would only be able to put six of these around this reactor if I put them this close. Second thought. Where's the middle? Oh, right. There is no middle, effectively. Oh, this is actually kind of tricky to make a nice reactor. I can't believe we need seven of these things. Also, we're looking for a lot more spaceship floor. Okay. There's no way we can, like, Maybe I should give up on this nice little self-contained thing. Uh, Twelve of these to seven of these. And I've kind of been punished whenever I've tried to do a good ratio for these. I think it's better just to just have three for each. Oh, maybe we could do it like that. We have the 500 degree steam go in like this. We can have the water goes straight back up here, and connect to this thing, uh, how many tiles is that, I can't really see right now, bots are being a bit slow, can I pick up dollies, no, 
Alright, where are we at right now? Calidus Orbit. Fantastic. Let's go upgrade these Naquium Accumulators. Whoops. And there's one way down here as well. Completely stuck. There we go. Bots, hurry up. And back we go. to our ship. And let's go back to Nalvis Orbit. Alright, so... Maybe we could still have... Well, it's not like a 1 to 1 or 1 to 2 ratio for these, though. If we're going to have seven of these, but twelve of these, I can't just put, like, a couple of these, the water goes in, and so on. Um, but it does look like this is going to be an improvement. That is four tiles. Um, I think it's okay if these are next to each other. But it's probably not going to work out so well for the high temp heat exchanges. Then again... Hmm. We can't pick a dollies. Oh, we can. Perfect. So we can't do it with those big things, but we can with this. Why don't we just suppose we put seven of these in a row? And see if we can somehow... Uh, let's see, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm... I would like the water to be able to go in to the sides, kind of directly. But I also want... Uh, something kind of as close to symmetrical as possible. How far out does that stick out? Where is, uh, where is the middle here? I would say it is here. Yep. So maybe... How's the water going to get in there? OK. 
Can we actually just have it both ways? Like this? Can't be this easy, surely. This bit's going to be a bit more awkward. Also, that's kind of off-center, which might actually help us. Might just have to have this bit stretched up a little bit more. But I think we're closing in on a design that I might actually like. Let's see. Is this for power? Indeed. Um, because we need 6.25 high temperature turbine generators worth of power to support a end game ship. Alright, so this would look like this. Unless... I think all of these have to move over a tile. Which kind of messes up everything we've done here so far. I'm hoping I could do some kind of decent repeating pattern here, but looks like it's just different everywhere. Um, we need to maximize the space that we have for the water to get through here. That's not going to work still. Yeah, I think, I think we need three tiles between these. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But it's probably... Probably not that bad, to be honest. I wish the bots would hurry up. Oh, it's kind of my fault, isn't it? Let's do a supercharger right about here. I definitely like this part of the design, though. I'm not sure we actually need pumps here, because I've seen how the heat exchangers greedily suck up the water. And especially because we're just confining it to, like, a thousand... Things like 1,015 water that comes out of all of this. Uh, these pipes should be fine. Did you design it in editor? Uh, not this part, no. These bots, though. Am I back? Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Let's get our spider... Remote and head over there directly. We can stop waiting for little things like this. Still waiting on this uh, floor though. I do think I probably like this though. It'll either be that or just the design of the back of this thing stretched out even further. But considering the floor space that we're going to need, I think it'll be this one. 
Actually, we could probably use uh, this space right here. What have we got? Eight fuel tanks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I don't know if six is enough or not. But if so, we could definitely save this tile sticking out. Alright, let's cancel that for a second. So we're going to have... Pairs. Two, four... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, and I should probably turn on my personal stuff. Right then. Let's do this side first. This side's already, like, lined up properly. Trouble is I would need an underground to get up here. Uh, we could do this water just over here, but I don't think that's good enough. I'm pretty sure all of this has to go up a tile. So that we can do something like this. But then that would connect. We can't use a three... Uh, the shortest, like, long pipe that we can use is three tiles. Oh, we could actually do that. And then... Like this. That looks kind of weird, but it should work just fine. Uh, can we do pipes like that or no? Steam needs to go in here. Might actually be really good. Uh, we need the water up here and up here. That's a problem. This one will just have to be a bit shorter. Why do I have a small pipe? There we go. Wait a sec, that's wrong. This should be steam. And this should be water. So maybe stick with the fives if we can. That would have to go there, which means this would have to change. Okay. So, some threes. A seven. Uh, those connect, don't they? That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll need some regular pipe here, I suppose. I might 
just make this a 3B for consistency. Rubber Band Rambo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you just, uh, guitars? Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so I think that is our fluid. Water, 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 water. And I think I actually want the water to go over here as well. Okay. Probably should be designing this in editor extensions because... Oops. Uh, reactors tend to require a lot of testing. But I see no reason why this shouldn't work perfectly, therefore it definitely will. That is really wide. How does it compare to our ship? Wow. Okay. Hmm... So it sticks out one tile or two nope. from the engines. Um, I wonder if I couldn't wrap the ends around a little bit compared to our reactors. So, let's say we put this... That doesn't line up very well. Of course, because there's a middle tile to this and there isn't a middle tile to the reactors. Um... But I think we can have those just one tile down. We haven't connected some steam inputs. Okay, we'll have a look. Steam inputs. True. Should be it, right? For five thousand degree steam. And then we have a little bit of heat pipe right here. I'm hoping well, let's blueprint this real quick. Let's put that down here for now. Um, I'm hoping I could just elegantly wrap these up something like up here. We're not going to have room for the inputs for the ones on the side if I do this. In fact, we already don't have room for the input-output for this one. Hmm. I don't really want to have to move it one more tile back, but I might have to. We could also try putting react uh, turbine generators on both sides. So, like, what, three on one side and four on the other? 
And then we would want... How would we split our 12... Uh, heat exchanges? Maybe I would just use an extra one for symmetry. Jakubas? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, can we stop the flashing? It's a little distracting. So, if we're going to have six on the six of these on each side. Maybe... No, we lose our neighbor bonus if we split the reactors. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can dolly this around. Yes, I can. That's nice. Alright, so we've definitely got room for... Now input output on these now. It's going to be rather difficult to have this pipe on the edge. If we're going to pull this up here. I wonder if we're going to have fluid throughput problems if I do that. I mean, this needs 1,034 fluid, so probably. Hmm. could turn this around on this side. Okay, I can't actually just flip it, but... It would actually be more symmetrical if only the, only the one in the middle wasn't an exception here. It's probably better for the fluid flow as well. So let's just put in a substation here. Alright. So... What's this steam? Hold on, how many of these are there? Seven. Okay. Oh yeah, that was sticking out because this was over here. Okay, cool. Um, maybe we can do this a little better. Maybe we can do it a lot better. good actually. And then I want this to go all the way up here. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm not going to love the way this looks. Oh, that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five turns there. Alright, so steam, 
No, this does need to be an underground. Wait, what? Oh. Fair enough. It goes there. It goes there. And... Oh, that does actually need to... We also need this part. Steam, steam, and... Hmm, could be maybe... I don't think I can actually reduce the number of pipe sections. Alright, let's say we do go with that. We would need some heat pipe. I don't think it connects if I do this, does it? Well... We're waiting on some bots to find out. There we go. It really doesn't seem right that we need this much power. towards three on one side and four on the other. Let's try seeing what that might look like. Um, so if we do four on this side, we could put these two together as long as these two have their water outputs like so. need some more room, of course. New power design for the ring? Uh, nope. Asmin, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, believe it or not, this power is actually for a spaceship. I jumped into editor extensions to see exactly how much power the Nexus needs for the end game recipe. Uh, the minimum minimum speed that we have to hold on to to make this happen is 250 for 10 minutes. Uh, we need 6.25 high temperature turbine generators to keep up with that. And that's just the Nexus. So suffice to say, we're going for uh, seven high temp turbine generators. Um, I even did the math on the condenser turbines that come out of it. It doesn't make up the difference, the 25% of a high temp turbine generator. So yeah, we're trying to figure out uh, the most compact seven high temp turbine generator design we can come up with. Um, I'll just double check if we have 12 of these, 560 megawatts, uh, 6.7, yeah, that'll definitely be enough for the, uh, the remainder. The Nexus is going to be 90-90%, at 99% uh, of our power consumption, um, but we still want to make sure there's a little bit left over. 
All right, so supposing we do hmm. one, two, three, and four. Actually, it might be okay if it's like this. So then we've got water coming in this way. Water coming in this way. Steam. Like so. Not quite like that. Uh, I hope I don't actually need that much. Hmm. One of these tiles has to be regular pipe. I could do it like that. That looks okay to me. So we can have... Uh, 500 degree steam to water, like so. Five hundred degree steam to water, like so. That water basically will go there, and that water basically will go there. It's a thousand and fifteen water per second out of all of this, so we probably don't need any pumps. We do have room to add a pump here if necessary. Might be a good idea. It also means fewer type sections. As does this. This can definitely be a five. Uh, that can use a three. And that's actually... Uh, Cracklord, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Yeah, I quite like this one. Uh, nice and symmetrical. We're not going to be able to put it right up against the uh, reactors just because... Well, I guess if I wanted to manually put the fuel in, we could do that. It may even come to that. But let's suppose we put it two tiles away. That also means we can put our substation pile on here. So then we've got eight? Wait, what? I think we only need six. Oh, this is for four of these. Which is a bit more than half. Uh, we need seven high temp turbine generators operating at capacity to get 6.25 generators worth out of them. 1024 times 
six point two five sixty four hundred um, 3200 over 562 load per second. Uh, yeah, we definitely only need six. Oh, this is for four of these, though. Um, seven over 6.25. 6.25 over seven. We need, uh, we need these running at 90%. So, 1024 times 4 times 0 0.9, 3686, uh, we would need 7. I tempered exchanges on this side. Yeah, we'll just leave 8 of those there for the symmetry of it. It's fine. Alright, so this goes here. I'm pretty sure these don't connect. Oh, we were figuring that out over here, weren't we? Yeah, they, they don't connect. So probably... Probably another long one over here, to be honest. Actually, no, that means no room for the input-output for this. At least not up here. That's probably fine. Oh, I forgot flipping these things doesn't work properly. Alright. So then we only need three reactors on this side. Uh, I don't think four heat exchanges on this end are going to be enough. Maybe we could link the steam. Probably not. Let's see. Uh, one, two, two, four times three times point nine. This much water. Uh, we actually need five. Call it six. There's no way we can do this more symmetrically, is there? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. Probably, maybe, put this somewhere like here. I don't think it would make it that much cleaner. Uh, maybe here. Here, that's actually a really good fit. That is almost a good fit. Seems good. So this goes... Oh, this is not the same on this end. Right about there. 
Missing a pump on the left. True, thank you. Kellogg's, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, where was this? Here. Also, let's stop the flashing. Or at least some of it. Alright, I think I could just about live with this. Um, it also gives us the opportunity to make sure water is... That's actually convenient. Uh, yeah, water's going to be connected up here. Uh, it's not going to work out the same way on this side, though. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should just... Move this out one tile. And maybe that would look a bit less... ...unfortunate. I'll leave that where it is. I don't love this, but... What can you do? Okay. And that allows us to have... This bit of symmetry. Yeah, I think that's an improvement. This is the only part that looks a bit warped. Uh, the rest of it's nice and symmetrical. Alright, I'll remove that. And... Where is this going? Water. We can still do that. And this is steam. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Alright, cool. In fact, we can actually improve our symmetry a little bit here. And over here. Huh? Oh, I see. It's fine. That is looking pretty good, I think. Um, that should go over there. And I was thinking maybe a pump up here as well. Can't really fit one up there, though. Oh, we can put them here. suppose that reaches. Oh, it actually does. Uh, that's pretty good. Alright, this is looking more like something that will fit in a relatively slender ship. Uh, why are we... why are we lurching right now? We're not putting down any... We're not putting down any rail signals, are we? I don't know why we would be doing that at this moment. Alright, let's copy that for a sec. 
And imagine that it's part of our ship here. Yeah, I definitely like where that's going. Um, that's much better. Okay. Uh, so we need more spaceship floor. Or we probably already have it, we just need it to get where it's going. One K. Uh, I'll take all of it, please. Why does it keep... There we go. Wait, where am I standing? Let's get down here. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, uh-oh. Hold on. Wait, get, give it back. Okay, cool. We didn't lose anything. Alright, back to our building area. Can the spider stretch across there? I don't think so. Maybe here. Yeah, in the end I'm pretty pleased with that actually. Um, just flip it upside down. That's gonna... I mean, it's the size of the entire first Nexus ship that we made, almost. But it's a pretty good shape for a ship, I think. And we can squeeze in some solar panels, uh, console, and so on quite easily. What are you laughing at? Oh, the fact that it's the size of the last ship? Arcospheres still seem to be working. Very good. How many tesseracts have we made lately? Oh, this is this thing has beacon sickness. Uh, okay. Move it all over. No, 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 no. Okay, whatever. Fine. Move it all over one tile. There we go. So now we've got a random Arcosphere stuck in here. Despite my careful circuitry. Um... There we go. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, how many Tesseracts have we been making lately? None, basically. And Tesseracts seem to be the ultimate bottleneck. We do have two, 312 Deep Space Science Packs. It is slowly happening. I get some scaffolding. Wait, what? Why did... Okay. How do you move things without picking them up? There is a mod called Picker Dollies. And I just point at something like this machine. Can't actually put that here. Uh, let's see. Point at something, hold shift, and use the cursor keys. There's also a keybind for flipping combinators in a way that you can't uh, with vanilla. And it'll actually preserve wires, uh, wire connections, uh, combinator settings, all that sort of stuff. And it doesn't let you stretch wires longer than they're supposed to be able to stretch. All right, cool. Um, so that's going to go about there.
if I put it any closer... Well, let's just do this for now. This ship's going to be so big. I've run out of spaceship floor. Give me this. And this. And this. And furthermore... This. fit this now. Oh, there is a middle tile here. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, I don't think I want there to be a middle tile this time. Alright, so this goes about here. Let's put down some spaceship pole and see what kind of hull stress we're already looking at. Um, this should actually come over here. Or maybe we could put those two together. Put a fiver here. That looks a bit better. It's also a bit better functionally. Since we won't need to have walls sticking out. Does this touch the engines? It does not. How about back here? And I guess here. Yeah, it's going to have to be. And there'll probably have to be another one. squeeze in some solar panels or something here. It'd be a bit awkward. No, we could definitely put more tanks here if we want to. I think I said this earlier, I don't like how that's going to be like an exception to this pattern. Okay. So that's actually quite a lot of tanks. We only need to run it for 10 minutes, right? So maybe we don't need these at all.
Wait, we've already got them sticking out up here. I, I do feel a bit iffy about four tanks. But we could probably put fuel here as well if we want to. So we could definitely save a tile. Moving all of this down a bit. And then all of these are going to be in the way. Uh, I guess. No, never mind. Won't be able to squeeze that in. How many tiles is this? Uh, three, four, five. But I don't think we can make that work. Start with a three. Yeah, that's the way to do it. this is going, I think. We will be needing potentially quite a lot more floor. Let's remove these bits as well. be enough to fill that out. Uh, why don't we put a supercharger or two down before the bots get very upset with us. That's a lot of bots. And I should probably go and pick up those reactors. If I wait for my bots here, we're going to be waiting a while. Let's just go grab them. Actually, I might let these ones catch up. make the whole thing a bit thinner up the front. We'll see. I might want to steal some of these defenses here. We do have two tiles in the middle. We don't want the energy beam receiver. But this much at least. We could probably use the front uh, design again. Yeah, maybe this ship won't end up being as big as I thought it would. Depends how many engines we need. I really don't want to have to put engines, like, 
with the exhaust going into the ship. But it might prove to be necessary. Also, if these don't get 99 or 100% efficiency, maybe these last two engines on the side could go up like this. Might be a good idea. Might be good to do that anyway. The answer is probably a lot more. Oh no. Alright, let's get rid of that. And these. Probably not that tile though. Uh, personal logistics off. Pick up all of these. Hurry up, bots. I think my RoboPod is feeling a bit sad. Oh, that's probably why. Because we have hardly any fusion reactors. Spider's batteries are getting, getting a bit low as well. Alright. So really I'm just waiting for the bots to fill this out so that I can steal the front of our last design. Um, I think there's a pretty high prob probability I'm going to put engines like this instead of these two. And we can cut down on the whole stress a bit. I am curious to see just what kind of numbers we're looking at for hull stress at this stage. And we can pretty much just go ham with the defenses. Um, because no, no matter how many defenses we put on, it's going to be a, just a minuscule fraction. Everything except for the Nexus is going to be a minuscule fraction of the power cost. So we can basically pretend that's free. Alright, let's copy this once more. Make sure it's in the middle. This can go here. Don't necessarily have to have the Nexus up the front, but it is kind of cool. And then... How consistent could we be here? bad in the end. This is going to look funny. How dare you. I'm shaking and crying. Uh, that would go here. And we do need yet another substation pylon. Mm. 
And I'll also be wanting some more energy shields. I hope we can fit double here. Perfect. Uh, this is looking... The asymmetry here is a bit of a problem. We'll probably have to push it out a bit. Well, that's weird. I have a feeling uh, this isn't actually as symmetrical as perhaps it looks. No, it is. Huh. Okay. It's just the asymmetry of uh, these reactors here. Uh, generators, rather. But yeah, I think we'll be pushing these walls out a bit just so that we can have those shields. Star Destroyer from Star Wars? Maybe. Alright, let's get a sense of just how much hull stress we've accumulated so far. comes our console. And integrity check. It's going to take a little while. Uh, 3,749. That doesn't have anything to do with the spaceship floor on the outside, I'm pretty sure. Let's just make sure of that. I should probably make sure I do it with my personal robots as much as possible as well. Then again, I've got these superchargers here. It's probably fine. Yeah, that's actually way beyond what I was expecting from hull stress. We also need to make another nexus so that we can properly calculate the container stress. Although, I guess it's not that hard to just add 2,000, but it would add a bit of hull stress as well, the nexus will. We do have a bunch of empty space back here, so there's there's definitely some room for improvement. Just wait till the bots remove that stuff. We have made... 312 Deep Space Science Pack 4s. We haven't made any new ones in a little while. Still just waiting on... Tesserites. Which is waiting on cubes. Which... is waiting on particle stream. That I was not expecting. We do have Particle Stream being delivered. Uh, I only requested it be replaced when we're down to 20k. Maybe that has something to do with it.
could also up this up a little bit. So we get two trains coming at once. Yeah, I, I never expected uh, something other than Naquatite to bottleneck this thing. Are we actually okay for article stream? Not really. Surprisingly enough. So I think this is a perfect ratio. No, it's not. Antimatter stream 600, particle stream. Wait, what? You're kidding. We're actually net negative on particle stream in these blocks. Oh. Oh, something went wrong when we copied this. There's some old stuff here. Uh, wow, I can't believe it took that long to notice. Alright, let's get our construction spiders to head over in that general direction. Um, I think we're just getting rid of mostly just a bunch of this rail. Did we delete that one? No. Nope. And I th think that is literally it. Uh, that's probably everything we have to get rid of before we copy-paste this over the top of it again. I don't know how much that will help, uh, considering we need to consume particle stream here as well. 90 per second, although I don't think realistically we're running this 24-7, like, ever. Um, but it would be good to have a bit more of a surplus, perhaps? If we're making antimatter stream, we get 30 per second from each block. Uh, that is probably enough. Where else do we consume particle stream? Uh, boson data, lepton data. A bunch of fusion recipes. All right, there's a few. If we're having zero trouble keeping up with the supercooled thermofluid, which it looks like we are, yeah, it's completely saturated at all of these blocks. That's fantastic. Um, why don't we just make one more block to make antimatter stream? Put it right about here. Actually, where do we make particle stream in the first place? Oh, wait, no, this is where we make particle stream, but what goes into it? Uh, material testing packs, sand, and plasma stream. How much plasma stream are we making? Uh, 456 per second, that's if we were still making, well, we are still making ion stream, probably more than I realize. Uh, but 900 per second, even if we're constantly making ion stream, it's probably fine. Uh, probably. We'll make one more of these blocks to shift the bottleneck and see what happens. Oh, 
Okay, back to our ship design. The bots have still not finished picking this up. Really? of hull stress do we have now? Don't say 3,749. Uh, it appears to still be 3,749. How big was this one? 2,100. I wonder if... How many... Spaceship floor tiles is this? 2.4k versus 4.3k. Okay, that's more than I thought. But also the fact that we haven't used up most of the space means we're not getting a bit of a discount on that. Uh, you basically get 10% empty space for free, kind of. All right, we can start by moving these engines up. In fact, in this case, we can put this right about here. And this one right about here. part will have to change. What is that on the ground? That's a fiver. Uh, let's go five pipe. Five pipe. And a 3B. And underground. Let's recalculate. I don't know how much that's going to shave off. Maybe 100 or 200? Thirty-six ten. We need to drop our hull stress by like a thousand if we're going to aim for 2500 hull stress to finish the... finish the game. Pipes on the left missing? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I can't flip this, can I? No.
Okay. Uh, my butts are a bit unhappy right now. There we go. What is this busted for? We can obviously shave like some of these parts off. Console could go here. Or even back here somewhere might be better. Um, so these could go one tile further in. want that a bit further out anyway. I, I don't think I'm getting close to 2500 no matter how much I tweak this. Try and make a wider ship. We'd be more or less starting from scratch. I don't think it's possible with this design. Maybe if you somehow can go without reactors and heat exchangers. Uh, do you mean just pump in 5,000 degree steam in the first place? Considering we need... Uh, over... S we need about 7,000 steam per second. And if we're not... If we don't have heat exchangers, we need to store the output water as well. Um, which adds to our container stress. Although... If we have enough room for a reactor that can provide the seven and gigawatts and change that we need. Uh, we're probably not keeping container stress. Uh, we're, we're probably not keeping whole stress down near container stress. No matter what we do here. We'll probably add another couple of shields over here as well. I don't like the design. It's unfortunate that it probably just won't work out. Um, alright, so we're all the way down to what, 3500 if we're lucky? Thirty-four seventy-seven. Pretty sure my final ship had somewhere around 3.5k. Yeah, I'm, I'm having my doubts as to just how low we could go with the best possible design uh, for hull stress. 
Well, this ship would probably do the job. Um, you know, we could add some lasers and stuff if necessary, but this is, this will probably f do it. Except we need, um, uh, except that we need two more researchers, I think. But we could actually do those now. Plus 500, and this one requires 8,000 deep space science pack fours. Oh no. One thing I am pretty confident of at this stage is we're not getting... We need the Tesseracts for Deep Space 3 as well. I, I, I seriously doubt that we can get a 2500 hull ship to finish the game. Let's go make the Nexus. Um... First of all, I might have to use my jetpack. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! I forgot the spider was there. It was including the spider in that calculation. Alright, so our actual hull stress is... all the way down to... 3417. Yeah, not that exciting. We're still in the 3500 ballpark. Um, but yeah, let's make us uh, let's make ourselves one more nexus. 20 tesseracts. That was the reason why I had this thing reserving tesseracts. Okay. Well, I could go pick them up from here. There's probably Uh, well, there's exactly... Why don't I see the Tesseracts? Oh, they're in a requester chest. Okay. Let's just go get them. Are you going to test it in editor extensions? Sorry, been on mute for a few minutes whilst on the phone... Uh, yeah, I might do that, because I'd really hate to go to all the trouble of building and researching this and then finding out actually this power was nowhere near enough, or somehow we needed way less than we thought. We did jump into editor extensions to confirm how much power the Nexus would require anyway. It's not cheating, it's just testing. Yes. Yeah, pretty much no matter what we add in terms of storage for water, uh, containers for the antimatter reactors and such, uh, I'm pretty sure the hull stress is going to be the one that counts. Not the container stress. I do kind of like the look of this one. I also don't know if the ship is going to be fast enough. That would be a letdown. If we went to the trouble of building this in-game. Only for it to... Need even more engines. Which honestly wouldn't surprise me. Let's see, we've got 10 engines for a 2100 hull ship. This 3400 hull ship has 16. That's, I think it's going to be close as to whether this will go faster than 250. We don't have any Tesseracts here, do we? Nope. Okay. Alright, this isn't running right now, so... 
I don't think we're going to have that much trouble keeping up with particle stream. Oh yeah, I was sending the construction spiders down here as well. This is our ship that's going to foe an astro. Um, I think it's ready to go. Yep. Let's get it sent out there. Uh, what's this ship called? The Cartographer. And it's already on its way. Oh yeah, I forgot to check that the lasers would be able to defend it. No wait, I did check if the lasers would be able to defend it and it went too fast. Um, um, but apparently I bumped this back up. Or did it crash for a different reason? I think it was probably the accumulators. Yeah, I remember this. How fast is it going now? 133? the Naqui Naquitite accumulators, Naquim accumulators. Uh, this thing actually can shoot down everything that's coming towards it. Probably. Alright, let's grab those Tesseracts. And we need another eight. In that case. So we're just waiting on more cubes here. I could go steal some cubes. I'm sure there's... Well, they're actually being made relatively quickly right now. Uh, is this the highest priority drop-off for cubes? Oh, there's already cubes coming. Wait, that's a short train. It's picking it up from the mall. And it's having some trouble. I'll just send those over. 123 cubes, and it's only one cube per tesseract. That should be fine. Alright, cool. Uh, and what else do we need for the Nexus? Heavy assembly, Nequim processor. We can get those right here. No worries. Alright, here comes our train. And our tesseracts. What else are we missing before we test this thing? Uh, besides the antimatter fuel. And canisters is what I meant to say. I've actually got a lot of canisters. Alright, so... 
request a chest. Passive. Uh, I can't put the passive in the middle for that one. Let's just do them like this, on this side. It's kind of inconsistent with what's up here. It's fine. That's what I'll tell myself. Okay. And then circuit wire. Where are our inserters? Here they come. Uh, what are we checking? Accumulator charge. So, we would probably need some accumulators. Eight is probably overkill. I mean, it's the defenses that will be um, spiky with the power consumption. And the defenses are, like, less than 1%. So, probably don't need any, to be honest. Overkill is underrated, indeed. Oh, that didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. Um, yeah, that is going to be enough. And we can stop holding on to these ones as well. Alright, let's go make our endgame nexus. Is that train okay? It's looking for radiation data. I don't think I have defined... A, a train load for this. How did we end up with radiation data and where are you taking it? Taking it to make catalogs. Okay. Next is our new block for... what is it called? Was I going to make a new block for this? I don't think so. We were going to do a third one for antimatter stream. Train pathing go burr. Train pathing really go burr. That should be more than enough to get that done. Alright, so we need heavy assembly. Uh, Naquim Tesseract is in the spider. And we need a Naquim uh, processor. Just one, actually. I wonder 
why we're making solar panels right now. Alright, I'll take those and one of these and I need room for 20 stacks of tesseracts. Fifteen UPS, it's fine. Uh, now that we're done placing rail signals, it's back, back up to almost twenty. No problem whatsoever. Totally fine. We do need one more. Uh, what I might do here actually is pick that up, put it over here. I said put it over here. Okay, that made it worse. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Could you perhaps put this here, please? Thank you. Thought it was putting it in the trash. Oh, you actually had... You actually had the storage tank all along. I thought it was weird that you'd run out of that, but why didn't you place it? Also, what's missing over here? Uh, a single stack filter inserter. Very odd behavior. 20 UPS means you get three times the fun. <laughs> Indeed. Razor K, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, actually I think they can just go straight back. They're not going to step on any spaceships. Uh, Drumiel? Drumiel? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, Passion, Passion Sausage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Alright, let's deliver this Nexus... The Hisag. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Alright, let me just not forget to mark this. Uh, particle stream. Antimatter stream. And what else are we missing here? Sand. Oh, there it is. And also the yellow stuff. Which is probably on its way. P plasma stream. Here we go. Oh. Where is us? Here we go. What are we missing here? The accumulators. Um, the Nexus. Fuel, of course. I'll just leave the spider here for the moment. I think it's about time we blueprint this thing and run some tests. I, I can't actually set the recipe for it just yet. Because we don't have it researched. Place your bets on what kind of speed we're going to get out of this. Why was there a purple? Oh, right. That's fine.
272. That's kind of optimistic. I hope you're right. Let's just put this down here for now. Save. And while we're waiting on the save, I think I will take a short break. Uh, words on stream will get started in about 30 seconds. At least two. <laughs> okay. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun. Uh-oh, is it not working? How about now? Yeah, my bad. Should we restart it? I think we should restart it. All right, good luck.
One more. One more. Fantastic. Uh, all right, let's get back to some space exploration. And we're going to test our ship that we've thrown together with no... Without even testing the power plant first. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so let's grab our blueprint... And I guess we'll shove it down right about here. Bots aren't going to have any trouble reaching the end of that. Nope. Should be fine. Although we do have a bunch of non-superpowered bots. Uh, which is definitely slowing things down a bit. Um, let's see. It's not like I'm going to be able to grab them from out of here. But we can add more super bots to the mix. Okay. What is this sticking out? Can't even see it over here. All right, let's throw together some cheap resources. Um, I guess we'll start with antimatter. Actually, let's do the power management before we do. And it can be all nice and synchronized. Doesn't matter if we're reading some water as well. Actually, I just want to read from the accumulators. If anything. That looks kind of weird, no matter what I do. Hmm. It's fine. No, it's not. I guess that looks a little bit tidier. We also want... I should put it on the red wire. I made the same mistake as I did before. If we're going to use accumulated charge, 
to set a target speed. Alright. Spaceship console. I don't suppose... Oh, that doesn't go there, does it? Can't reach like that, but we can reach if we use the pump. We're just going to make it unconditional. Uh, check signal equals zero. going to set all of these to speed signal. So if our accumulator charge is very low, our speed, our target speed is going to drop. We're going to output when speed signal less than 99%. And we're going to input, whoops, I've got something very important. Read hand contents pulse on the output. And on the input, output canister is detected means we'll put some fuel in. And then antimatter canister. Wait, what did I just copy that to? I don't think I can copy it to a passive provider. It's probably fine. Wasn't there a typo in the inserter condition? Which one? Speed signal less than 99% of 800, and we're reading all the accumulator charges, which go from 0 to 100. The 99% ones? Nope. Maximum would be 800. So if we drop below 792 out of 800, yep. Chucky and Krasis, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. I guess let's find out just how fast this thing's going to be. Uh, remove that. Interstellar travel data. And it actually outputs blanks. Okay. And we could probably use more lasers on the side or whatever, but I'm not even going to worry about that just yet. Oh, also we need a constant... Um... I was going to say we need a constant combinator to switch all of these on the first time, which we do. And then I realized we need a constant combinator here anyway for our various settings that we're going to have. Although I guess we're not having to worry about automating this ship. It's literally just finish the game, the ship. Um, but I will pulse in magnetic canister. There's our heat. Get some water. Uh, let's say exactly 50%. And once all that is saturated... I'll get rid of the free water. Not, it's not just free water, it'll delete excess water. 
Um, but yeah, I'll get rid of that once we're ready to go. Looks like we're all ready. Build up. What is this guy doing? Okay. Let's just see how this goes. Let's set our target to Stardew. And we can't launch yet. Probably would help if we had some antimatter stream. Not particle stream. Whoops. There we go. The walls look rather weird. Actually kind of weirdly cool. These bits with the engines. Alright, are we ready to launch almost? Probably yes. Alright, and go. So we've got our heat. Uh, we actually don't have any solar panels here, I'm just noticing. We very nearly didn't manage to put the rest of the fuel in. It's weird how all of... like, we, we build this perfectly symmetrically, but we get this one accumulating 5k and outputting its water quickly. Uh, this one was a bit slower, I think. Maybe it was just the timing that I looked at all of these. Actually. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be working pretty well, actually. Very good. What's our speed? 185. Uh, it's not climbing that fast already. I don't think we're getting to 250. How about power consumption? I'm guessing this thing won't work. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I was going to say, I'm guessing this thing won't work until we are in interstellar space. But I think it will consume the power regardless. Does it... Don't tell me it caps out at 4.5 gigawatts. No, we need to go faster. This is about as fast as our last ship, as a matter of fact. So, I guess... I guess we're adding more engines? Yeah, let's, let's add some more engines. Maybe solar panel while we're at it. Um, alright. If that's the case... I don't think two more engines is going to cut it. On each side, that is. We can try it. We'll get a better idea of exactly how much we need if we do. Spaceship floor. That was loud. And 
this goes here. And maybe something like this. Oops. Is it still streamlined? Uh, what are we missing? Oh, an engine, of course. Engine... Vapor... Spaceship... Space pipe? Alright, is this streamlined? 272 was a within margin of error? <laughs> uh... A significant margin of error, yes. Uh, past integrity check, streamline is 100%. Okay, cool. Um, let's mirror that on this side. And add just... Actually, why don't I do this? Add just one more of these. if I think it would be rather difficult to sort of squeeze these condenser turbines up this way more maybe not maybe that would be really convenient actually but it's not like we could move the whole ship up a bit if we did that all right let's integrity check again uh, and see how fast this goes now. So what was our top a minute ago? 185? Okay, that's plus 10, at least. Oh, I forgot to see if we were getting 100% efficiency from all these engines, or like 99%. Um, I think all of these ones down the side definitely will, but I would expect these ones here to maybe not get, especially these two, not get maximum efficiency. We're actually creeping towards 200. So we went from uh, 16 to 18 engines. And that got us from 185 to 198. Um, we need another... 6 or 8 engines, I would imagine. That is kind of a lot. Um, I don't really want to go wider and wider here. Maybe it's time to start putting engines on the sides. And as for Nexus, yeah, the power consumption is still climbing. I think this was the right number of high temp turbine generators. Okay, let's stop again. And we probably, I, th I think I calculated that we could do this with only six antimatter reactors, but what would that accomplish besides making it asymmetrical um, and making it less 
antimatter efficient. Like, we're... This isn't the widest part of our ship, so... I don't think that really matters. Alright, let's try... Hmm... So we're going to have to start getting a bit cheesy here, I think. And we have to get the antimatter stream all the way up there as well. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I believe this... Okay, we, we need to move this out a bit, but ignoring that... Um, I believe this is as tight as we can get it. For adding engines this way. Actually, before I experiment with this, um, I do want to see... what those stats looked like. Uh, hold on. Where are we going with this? Oh, that bit's a little bit asymmetrical. Wait, what? Something is amiss. Huh. Oh yeah, because that sticks out more. Oh, whatever. As long as it's about the same for now, I'm not that overly concerned by it. tidy it up when we're getting close to winning. Uh, what is this bot doing? Oh, I see. Okay, so engine's on. Uh, that is actually 99% on the worst of our engines. That's good. But I think the ones that are going to be um, that are going to have parts of the ship behind it are going to be significantly worse. Zoom, zoom, zoom. That is the idea. All right. This will be an opportunity to make sure this is all. Symmetrical, actually. Let's just delete that. Uh, M confusion. Whatever. We're kind of starting from scratch here. Um, need more floor. And I think I would like... That to look a bit like that. I guess we don't need the wall sections. Wait, this has to have space behind it, right? I should just put it down first. And then 
trim everything after that. Maybe like this. It's actually six tiles. Alright. So this goes like so. Uh, this will go as far down as we need it to. This part's looking a bit awkward. Can we squeeze through there? Yeah, we can. This is looking less and less planned. Uh, how many tiles is this? 9, 10, 11? I don't think we can make 11, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 3 pieces. Okay. And then that could go somewhere like there. despise that. And now we need to do same thing on the other side, but also can we get these shields squeezed in? I would need to that's actually a problem. These two are fine. It's over here that's the issue. I don't know if this is good enough. I definitely don't like how it cuts across the engine like that anyway. We could have it, one of these engines like here. I think I would like the look of that even less. Alright, let's see if we can't copy what we've got here. If this is pushed over to the left, then these two should actually be like here. the symmetry. Which is making these two engines look significantly safer, actually. Three tiles between these. That part is symmetrical. I got that wrong. Yep. And then Oh, 
Oh, it happened so fast I didn't even see it. Copy, paste, flip this. This goes here, or rather here. I think you missed the cut put between the engine and the right side. True, thank you. Alright, let's integrity check. No name, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. No tiles found connected to a properly enclosed console. Where is it not enclosed? Oh, is it... Is it here? Oh. How... I'll just confirm that that's the reason. Integrity valid. Okay. How do we get fuel to this thing and also allow it to output... Oh, wait. I think I know the answer. I think it will probably just let us do that. Which means... We could actually do this like so, um, as long as we have one tile back here that's like exposed to vacuum. I don't know if having more tiles is going to help. Stupid question, do engines have to be facing aft to get thrust? Or can they face out? Uh, you can't rotate them. Uh, you get more thrust if they are at the back end or sides. Um, but less if they're like facing into the ship like this, I think. Um, does that mean we can't put these this close together? Why don't we just remove this for the moment and test if that's valid. Alright, so we're going to have... I mean, that one's not going to be a problem anyway. So we can just do it like that. Can't rotate was the answer I was looking for. Okay. Integrity valid. Alright, so I think this stuff probably has to go up a tile. At least a tile. It's not going to reach now. Uh, even more than that. If we want them to be directly in front of each other like this. That is probably the minimum. Or... I think we can move it down one more, actually. No? Hold on. There it is. I think that is our minimum.
I just want to see if this will work. Uh, integrity passed, okay. And what kind of percentage do we get out of it? 62 and 64 percent. That's abysmal. Hmm, let's consult the Informatron. Have a little reread of how this works. Um, integrity stress, streamlining speed. Engines can be placed in slash on the ship, but engines at the back of the ship with empty space behind are more effective. Fully enclosed engines are 60% effective. Engines at the edge of the ship have a slight advantage. You can set a target speed, blah blah blah. Did we break it? I don't recall telling you to stop. Yeah, we broke it. No, we didn't. Okay. So, maybe because I did that, that was more of a problem. Oh, it's still only 64%. Hmm. Well, we could get this one here more or less for free because of how we've already got our energy shields here. If we can figure out how to fit them, that is. I don't think uh, we're going to reach the speed that we need by just making this a little bit wider. I think we're probably going to have to start over, more or less. But with what we've learned from this uh, reactor design and stuff, it shouldn't be anywhere near as much work. So many engines. We can have pretty much as many defenses as we want. So let's just do that. Alright, now we have to do it on the opposite side. Um, could we maybe... Do a little blueprint so we can copy paste flip this. None of this stuff. It won't let us flip an engine. Include tiles. 
and go. And go. That doesn't look quite right. I think I do. A stupid flip thing with the aquium heat pipes. I'll just ignore it. Oh, wait, what? Why don't... What? Engine is offset. Good call, thank you. Yeah, I should have realized I have to change that pipe first. Alright, so... Something like this. Seems good. don't think this is going to be fast enough. I think it's going to be like 220, 230. I think we have to go wider and less long. I do kind of like the look of it though. 203. Might not even get to 210. How about some wings at the end? Wings. Just to cram more engines onto it. If I go that wide, I think I want to try and stretch the reactor, the power supply, out horizontally. Like, redesign the ship from the beginning. How fast does it need to be? 250. It needs to be 250 despite having this thing on it, um, which gives us 2,000 container stress. And when we're going fast enough... Uh, satisfaction just dropped. What? Uh, when we're going fast enough to win the game with this, uh, this thing is going to consume so much power that we need seven high temp turbine generators to support it. Star Trek style nacelles? Places to put engines, really, yeah. Like, I don't think I want to go for the low efficiency engines in places other than the back. So I think what we do is expand this out further and or this. Um, but basically we expand this out further, we make more of a big triangle ship and uh, we try to fit 
this much power into a flatter shape. And then hopefully we should, we'll be able to have more engine to hull ratio. It's a delta wing, yeah. Okay, I guess let's go back to Nalvis Orbit. That'd be the easiest place to build it. Although, it's going to take a few minutes, even with super speed. Oh, why are we slowing down? Why did we slow down just now? Don't tell me we're able to take enough shield damage that it actually... This is a pretty good graph for our speed right now. Yeah, our power is not sufficient, and I don't know why. No input fluid. Wait, we consumed all of the water? Oh, there's none down here. Wait, yes there is. Yeah, no, it's connected. So, how... We didn't actually just go through all of that water that quickly, did we? That would be a little scary. I don't relish the thought of needing to put a... Uh, what do you call it? Biochemical facility on this thing, just so that we can melt ice. Just so that we can store enough water. Uh, each one of these only consumes about 10 water per second. So probably not. Probably just need more tanks. Hmm. We're actually only consuming about 5 gigawatt. Oh yeah, we're not going the speed that we need. So if we're going 204 and we're consuming 5 gigawatts, then yeah, I think 6.25... Uh, I think that maths out. Alright. The biggest headache, I think, is going to be redesigning the power layout again. Actually, maybe not... We could just do, like, four of these on each side. Run the heat pipe across here. It might be easier than expected. think all right first of all let's fix this I actually think I will need more space let's move this over here and get rid of these engines actually before I do anything let me remove the regular construction bots from here, and logistic bots. 
I believe there is at least one more Super Robo port. I guess it doesn't need to be a Super Robo port. Any Robo port that has regular bots in it is a problem. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so how many engines do we have? 20. I'm going to guess that we need 30. To go fast enough with a somewhat optimal ship. Um, can I just copy-paste this? Yes, good, fantastic. How many is this on each side? 24. Okay, that may be wider than we need. I certainly hope so. Uh, so if 30 is all we need, then we stop here. Let's say we go here. Um, we'll go over here for now. I was going to say I don't think we touched on using up our antimatter stream, but then I realized I forgot to get rid of the uh, cheat supply of it. Let's do that now. And yeah, we might have this curve up a bit. Depends on what this part's going to look like. So we want to... How many of these would it take to support 3.5? Well, it's not even 3.5, it's like 3 and, three and 1 eighth. Um, 1024 times 3.5. One, two, five, thirty-two hundred. Is it five sixty-two? Yes. All right. Let's. We're gonna say that we need six uh, high tempered exchanges on each side. Oh yeah, that figure that works out with what we did earlier as well. Um. So this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. We could maybe do that as well. One, two, three, four. Not going to need any of this stuff up the front. At all, actually. Oh, there was... Huh. I think we had significantly more heat exchangers than we need. Because these aren't really... Uh, those weren't sharing steam. Okay. Don't need this heat pipe. And then... One, two, three, four... One, two, one, two, one, two. Hmm. I want to run the experiment and see if we only need, like, three of these pipes. Actually, that's going to be really tricky, because I can't get 
the fluid from here over to here. But three into two, rather, was what I was thinking of. But I guess we'll just do it this way. It's fine. That's kind of awkward. What's the benefit of these long pipes? They only count as one section of pipe. Um, so you can see that this thing, which is 5 by one only has a maximum of 100 water in it. Uh, so as far as Factorio's fluid simulation is concerned, these two pipes are the same as these two pipes. Um, and the more sections of pipe that you have without a pump, the slower the fluid gets. Borg cube design? <laughs> Maybe not. Fluffy kitten Mika? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Matrim, Kate, Immo, Midden, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome also. Um, do we want to... Is there any value in, like, moving these over a tile? I don't think so. Oh, I definitely want that there. We're just going to have to have more pipe sections here. Or I could put the pump here. That way we've got three pipe sections and then three pipe sections. So the bottleneck should be about the same. In fact, it's better than this one. Isn't it the same with underground pipes? Yes. Yes, it is. Underground pipes count as two, as opposed to, well, hold on a sec. Uh, how far do vanilla underground pipes go? Yeah, so instead of uh, 11 pipe sections, uh, you get just two, which is much easier for the fluid to pass through. It's kind of like, uh, instead of the actual distance, it's only the parts where it connects, uh, where it connects, and the size of the container. But the size of the container only matters because if you're pumping, like, from one big container into the next, you're going to get a very high speed at first, but the more full the target container gets, the slower the pump is going to get. Uh, and that goes double for the um, the input being empty, more and more empty as well. All right, I think that's as good as it gets, question mark? Probably. doesn't need to be here. Yeah, so I think we're going to mirror that. Two, three, four, five, six. I do recall needing 12 high temp heat exchanges. Um, or all of our reactors. Also, could this be up here? Yes, it could. Fantastic. I guess we won't be using that. Alright. Let's expand out this way. I think I can just use this. How many engines we have on this side? 16. 
and 16. Okay. Can we make some room in my inventory? So on this side, we're going to do like so. Uh, water is... Wait, what? Oh yeah, that is water. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I did get confused here. We've got one, two, question mark, four. But we've got one, two, three places to put the water in here. But I don't want to split this in the middle. And I think this water flow is going to be enough if we can just pull this off. Hmm. That's, that's an if. Big, big ship incoming, indeed. Yeah, very big, actually. Significantly bigger than I thought it would have to be. Hmm. I think it'd be okay if we put all of our pumps uh, somewhere like this. Because if we keep these water pipes empty, then these pumps are going to go fast anyway. This is going to need like 5k integrity? No. I think we can get it down to like 3,000, hopefully. I do wish I could get this part done without stretching it forward a bit. Uh, we could definitely save a tile here. If we need more storage, um, we can put that, like, over to the sides. So, all of that can go down one tile. That's another advantage of this design. We don't have to worry about these pipes contaminating. I should actually calculate how many condenser turbines we need. Um, robots, you are driving me crazy. All right. So what we actually need is uh, 6.25 times a high temp turbine generator. Um, that gives us 6.25 times 215 or 500 degrees steam out. Uh, each of these consumes 80 per second. So we need 17 condenser turbines. This is 12 on each side. We can definitely knock this down a bit. Uh, that's tragic. We could do 16 if we make, if, if we get rid of the last, if we get rid of the third one on each column. If we try to go for a better ratio than that, we're going to have to have them all connected to each other. Yeah, I think we're going to have to stick with this for now. Um, Alright. 
So this part is going to be mirrored. That's one too many. Still haven't solved this part actually. It's mainly just this one right here that's a problem. Getting the 500 degree steam in. Oh, wait, if I... If I do this, it's probably not that difficult at all, actually. Unless... I'm pretty sure the rate for 500 degree steam, we're not going to have to worry too much about the pipes here. So, something like this. Probably here would be better. I could even do like a 3B up here to save one bit of pipe, but I'm not going to worry about that. Maybe I will, actually. We'll see. Uh, so... That would go there. We'll connect these over through here. That actually doesn't work very well. There we go. Alright, these ones are good. One, two, three, four. we need... Well, I would do a 7 here, but that'll connect to this one. If I do an underground, we don't have to worry about it. Wait, how are we getting our steam in there? Whoops. Uh, so steam goes here. Steam goes here, steam goes here, water goes here. And also here. I can't believe it's one tile outside of the Island substation. That's just rude. Let's mirror this and see if we've got it right so far. Something's in the way. Uh, lots of things are in the way. Let's mirror this. we can cheat in some fluid. That's looking good. And water.
maybe if I put this here... That's... I don't think that's gonna help. Three, four tiles. And it would be one off for these ones. I think that is just about it. We'll have to test it when we go for a little joyride. Alright, so... I think I do want the engines to come up the sides over here. We can't fit them here, obviously. We need to just remove four. So, one, two, three, and four. It's actually more than I thought. Uh, can't copy paste flip because engines for some reason. even though they're symmetrical. Obviously getting rid of all that. And we will be needing some defenses. Uh, I wonder how flat we can make the front of this and still call it streamlined. Ideally, I would like to still have the nexus in the middle. We can do request a chest, passive, like so. And we will definitely be wanting some energy shields. Just out of range? Uh, don't tell me. Nope. I'm gonna need additional pylons. Just barely. Unless? No, I don't think there's un an unless here. Alright. Um, just put that wherever. I think these have to be a little bit apart from the middle in order to cover that part. And then... I 
Why am I not seeing... Oh, we ran out of power? Hmm. I could put this, like, here, I guess. Don't really want to do that. That doesn't look too bad. It's still going. So many shields to place. That probably will do. Probably. Wait, where is this going? Just outside of the accumulators. Let's use the nav set. And this goes here. Looks kind of neat, actually. And let's see if we can't build some walls to fit in here. And make it streamlined. I don't want to tell the bots to build it because they'll just hover over the spot where they can't physically put it. I want to see what the limits are, and then we can try and make it good. Alright, obviously not like this. Uh, maybe something a bit more... Just remove that for now. Like that, maybe? Nothing but the spaceship walls. Flip. And go. Alright. Grab a spaceship console. And please tell us if this is streamlined. Oh, it actually is. I haven't even smoothed off these bits yet. Okay. Uh, what's our integrity? 4.4k. Oh no, it got worse. Uh, we can move these back a bit, I think. I'm back. Nice ship. Thank you. This was supposed to reduce the uh, maximum integrity that we needed to make this happen. Uh, so far, not so much. We can definitely bring this down like so. And maybe move that back a bit? I would love to move these all the way back like here, except then uh, this part isn't going to be properly covered. I could move this up a bit. Is that the victory ship? That's what we're trying to build, yeah. That's what we're designing. That looks kind of good, actually. Hmm. And we don't have to use up every bit of floor that these shields would give us. Can I move this back a little bit more? 
Yes, definitely. Damn it, I put it in the same place. Okay, I think that is still... Yeah, 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 because the wall's back here. That's still pretty safe. Damn it, again. Mm, I think, actually, I want this to go four tiles. Have you done anything with Giant Wedding Ring while I was gone? No, um, I was fixing some other stuff, and I have sent the, uh, I have sent the fluid there to the Giant Wedding Ring. Alright, let's do this again. Blueprint. Everything except, I mean, walls and shields only. Go. All right. What kind of hull stress are we looking at now? Almost four thousand. What's with the weird shape of the front of this ship? Um, I'm just trying to use up as little space as possible while also um, having it streamlined. Or allegedly streamlined. Technically streamlined, according to the game. Let's put in some lasers. Get any more there. I'm really quite surprised how much worse the hull integrity got um, after making it wide instead of long. We did add a lot of engines, though. Let's get rid of these ores. It starts to look like the ship from Stargate Universe. Yeah. There's a kind of... Uh, well, I guess if you're just designing purely for fiction, you can do whatever you want. But if there's any kind of uh, pseudo-realistic design limitations that you're following, there's going to be a, a few kinds of convergent evolution, right? For lack of a better term. Let's check if there isn't anything that's going to break off. Will the hull integrity change once you clean up the extra flooring? I don't think it does. No, we're still a bit over 4,000 here. I'm still curious to see how fast this will go, though. Maybe it's actually significantly faster than it needs to be and we can cut down a little bit. Missing a gate? Yeah, I don't care about that just yet. Definitely not. Um, we could move these back as well. Yeah, we could definitely move these back. Which means we could have a little bit less over here as well. So 
something like that. And where am I changing this? Still 4047? How did it not change at all when I just removed a bunch of floor? We only get 10% floor space for free, right? I think. If I could move the Nexus back somewhere, like here. Uh, I, I, I'll. I'll be sad at the asymmetry of it, but... Oh my god, it's still bigger than that. Hmm, that's... That is a not insignificant gap, if this part breaks. Yeah, I don't like it. Rocker Asker, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Scale the Summit, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also. I guess we'll see how this thing flies, and if we're going to change the design, that's going to inform our decision as well. Like, if this turns out to be significantly faster than we need, then yes, we can definitely get under 4,000. All right, uh, so we're going to cheat in, we've got fuel, uh, we need water, and we need somewhere to store the water. Didn't even think of that, to be honest. Oh, we already did this part. Okay. Um, I could put these up here. And... We can have some convenient tanks. Not quite. If you're trying to preserve the streamlining but keep only two rows of engines at the same time, then the hull stress will grow quadratically, but the engine power only linearly. Yeah, what I was hoping I could do is not have engines in places like this or like in the middle of the ship. Um, I sort of thought that when this was done, the final design would be kind of flatter as well. Uh, but we really can't squeeze the nexus in over here. Unless I put this shield in a place that is not so effective. Hmm... Well, let's, let's just see how this goes. I want to see if the power works properly as well. And also how far we get on X amount of water. Uh, this should also have water. It does. I could put another tank over here. In fact, that's super convenient. All right. 
Right, looks like water has evened out. Do we have heat? We do not have heat. Uh, canister. Oh, we have no power here. Like, at all. Still have no power here? Wait. Where's the power drain coming from? Oh, our shield projectors. I think it's because they are getting ready to switch on. Lasers are also charging. You can see the power that they're drawing dropping. Four point one gigawatts. Is it just because there's that many shield projectors to get started? You would think thirty megawatts would be enough for the ship to just sit idle. Uh apparently not. All right. Yeah, we're totally fine on just those two solar panels after a long enough time. All right, so we have heat, we have water, uh, we have antimatter stream. I do want to see how far we get. I, I do want to see how far we get on um, four tanks here. So on each side we've got 16 engines. There's our power. And let's go. Wait, integrity check. Uh, integrity check? No tiles found connected to a properly enclosed console. Did we break it? Actually, seeing where there would be a problem. It's not symmetrical, is it not? I mean, the console is on the right. Did I miss, like, a tile of spaceship wall? Doesn't look like it. It's much better than the previous version. I'm not sure it is much better than the previous version. Is a nice ship, thank you. Where? Oh, if this breaks, theoretically something can squeeze through here, but I doubt it. Where do I? What? Checking containment. No tiles. Do you see it? Uh, 
I am thoroughly confused right now. Look in the engines after you check integrity. I see a bunch of red engines. Why is this? They go red, look at the engines to find the missing link. Wait, did we remove... Is there like... the spaceship floor here, right? There is. There, there couldn't be a wall if there wasn't. Huh. We didn't remove some floor that we shouldn't have. It doesn't look like it. To troubleshoot this, I often take blueprint and remove everything but keep the floor. That's a decent idea. Uh, although I failed... Wait, is that bit asymmetrical? No, it couldn't be. Doesn't look like it. Center bottom. Two holes. Right about... Uh, right about where, actually? Oh, it's here and here. Sneaky! Very sneaky. Alright, let's get ourselves some... Floor, patch that up. I think my bots just stole all of that for this thing. Well done, Veldak, indeed. Yeah, I couldn't even see it, like, hovering over this. It was so hard to spot. Alright, integrity check. There we go. And we're almost under 4,000. But more importantly, how fast does it go? Do we even need lasers with double shields? remove the free water but that's fine it was on exactly 50 percent i've we've got 5k steam output is not blocked do i just have to press engage yeah Lasers are shooting rocks that have already missed us. Yeah, I'm not sure if the lasers are useful. Zero. It goes zero. No. <laughs> they call me integrity check. Brilliant. Fantastic. Uh... 
Alright, well this is... Looks like it's working pretty well. As a ship. Just in, just in general. Did that entire shield just disappear? Because it hit one rock? That's kind of scary. What's our speed? 267. Okay, we can probably remove at least one engine from each side, maybe even two. And that should get us down to below 4,000 at least. It looks like a crown. <laughs> Kinda. It looks like some kind of bird of prey. What's the target speed? 250. Anything beyond 250 is a waste. So we're going to go back to Nalbus Orbit. And redesign this a little bit. If we can get it under 4,000 pulse press and, you know, meet the win condition, uh, we'll call that a bit of a win. And after that, we'll try doing better. Keddy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm sure we can get under 4,000 hull stress. We only need to trim 15. And I'm pretty sure we can remove at least one engine on each side. And the fact that we can remove the engines lowers the hull stress, which gives us more speed per engine. Uh, Exo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. I think we need more lasers if they're going to pull their weight. And there's really no harm in adding more. Where did I put that last one? Right about here. Uh, fat boy, not so slim. Thank you very much for the eight months. Much appreciated. Apparently these expire. Here's another sub. Thank you very, very much. Especially going out of your way to do that. Very much appreciated. Okay. Uh, are we back at Nalvis Orbit yet? Travel time 37 minutes? Wait, what? Uh... Spatial Distortion... Huh? What? Did we fall into a black hole? Where are we right now? Um... I don't suppose we are in... What's this ship called? The zombie. We are everywhere? Oh no. Yeah, I just wanted to go back so that we could edit this thing easily. Alright, um, I will make a blueprint of this just in case. I kind of did have some regrets that I didn't save our progress with the last ship. Although, we've mostly got it here, it's fine. So this is our first successful draft for certain values of successful. Actually, how much fuel do we have? We've gone through 10% and we've gone through well more than 10% of the victory condition. Uh, water? We're down to 75k. Uh... How much did we have to start with? 50,000, I would have thought. I, does it not count the water that's in these 
containers. Eight. That's like 30,000. What are you, 50,000? No, I think it is counting the water in here, so I can't really figure that out. It's due to the Nexus running. You need to kill that. Oh. Does that mean I can't get back to Nalva's orbit unless I shut this off? We may as well let it run. I'm actually curious to see... Well, it wouldn't benefit us any. We could easily put more container stress in and the additional hull stress would be trivial. Um, if we can get it below 4,000, every bit of hull stress counts. Uh, I mean, every bit does count, but we'd go slightly faster and so on if we had less hull stress, but like, in terms of research, it's only every 500 that we really care about. Um, but yeah, I am curious to see if there's enough water and antimatter stream stored here. This whole thing is just one oversized power plant with some stuff around it, basically. All right, let's see. Let's see if we make it. Technically, these are gaps, but the asteroids are always coming north to south, so I don't think we have to worry about that. If we could get away without that shield, we could squish the front up quite a bit. That would easily get us under 4,000 hull stress by itself. We're not even close to running out of fuel. Water is down to 48k though. Which is fine. I mean... This is the one purpose for this ship, and I'm sure it's going to be more than enough to get back to Nalvis. Oh. Active. Does that mean we still can't just fly back to Nalvis? Unless I, like, remove that thing or something? Yeah, it's still doing... The spatial distortion thing. Okay. Um, get out of here, I suppose. Novice orbit, 28 minutes away. Oh no. be the easiest way to get back. Oh wait, I suppose if we've met the victory condition is this oh it does reset the counter. Okay, cool. The zombie is well and truly lost, indeed. You won GG save close thanks for the stream. Uh not yet. See you later for the K2SE stream. Yeah, yeah, we haven't actually done this in-game yet. Um, also... 
You know what, I think I'll just stop this here and we'll edit it in flight. So the first thing we're going to do is remove engines from the sides. And... Bring these walls down here. Maybe something like that. Maybe a bit more of a curve. Uh, can we have some more balls? If we did try to put the nexus here... These tiles are forbidden. I don't like that gap. Maybe I could just put an extra shield generator here. What the? I, I hate the way that lines up, or doesn't line up. Let's just do this part first. We're not going to get this ship below like 3500 uh, hull stress, so we may as well leave the nexus somewhere that looks cool. Alright. Um, copy, paste, flip this. And... Check our whole integrity, I guess. Thirty-nine forty-four. Cool. Easy. Oh, and we need to see if it still goes fast enough. In fact, I'd like to see exactly how fast it goes with slightly fewer engines. If it's close, then we can trim this even more. Uh, valid. Okay, cool. Let's go. Engage. Uh, I guess let's cheat some water before we run out of it. Probably could have started with like 75% water as well. Alright, what's our speed? 245 already? 246? 247? If it doesn't reach 250, I bet trimming this bit will get it to 250. Oh, it's so close. 248... 248.1... What a tease. Also, if our top speed is literally just like 250.01, um, we're going to spend a lot of time accelerating before, before the Nexus starts doing its thing. So that's worth bearing in mind. Alright, let's remove uh, this and uh, these. And maybe that could have been a bit smoother as well. OK. 
Okay. Integrity check. Pulse stress 3864. It's definitely easier overbuilding and then just trimming stuff away uh, compared to realizing you need to add more. Alright, let's see what this thing can do. I would love it if we could have slightly fewer condenser turbines and put this engine up here and this engine up here and I guess this would collide with our shield. Love that we are editing the ship on the fly, indeed. Harvey UK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, 248, we're definitely getting over 250 with this one. And go. And it's just that little bit faster so that we don't spend a year accelerating to 250. But then we're able to... Our top speed is going to be like 251 or 252. That's actually perfect. Yeah. Alright, so this is going to be our plan A. Uh, end game ship. 4,000 hull stress, though. I don't know that we can do much better. I think it would... I don't know. I, this is close to the minimum. If I make it asymmetrical, we can have one less uh, high temp turbine generator. Um, I guess if we remove one... Yeah, if we remove one high temp turbine generator... Then we can have the Nexus in its place, and then we can shorten this bit. Um, that might get us down to 3,500. Noob question, what's the ELI-5 for LTN? LTN can make up train schedules uh, dynamically. So it, it reacts to what stations are requesting or providing. Um, so you don't just need, you know, an iron ore train and an iron plate train and a plastic train. You just need a cargo train, a cargo wagon train. Would it help your hull stress to hollow out those empty areas? Probably, yeah. Thank you, no worries. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're going to have any issue getting to 600 seconds with this. In fact, that seems pretty, pretty clear. Let's, uh, speed it up. So what's our house stress on this? 3864. 3864. Oh. Victory ship. Cool. Now all that remains is to see if we can do better. Well, once we confirm that it will, in fact, win, I'm sure it will. We 
we could reduce the number of condenser turbines needed if we connect them all, and then that kind of makes the fluid a lot less flowy. Even with the pumps, these aren't staying empty, surprisingly enough. I quite like the shape of it. It's not too bad. What about a longer ship instead of this width? Like having turbines one below the other. That's what I did before. Uh, where is it? Down here, I think. Yeah, this was the design that I was trying before this. Um, it didn't have enough engines, and I was left to add engines, like, up here or something. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need, uh, we need 14 engines on each side, and that one has eight. If we don't put them in places like this we lose efficiency really, really quickly. Um, I tried putting engines, like, up here, but they gave us 64% efficiency. And that's terrible. It's, um, the disadvantage of a wide ship in space exploration is having more area that you have to defend, uh, having to clear more asteroids. But when you're doing a Nexus ship, uh, even if it is the recipe that makes interstellar travel data, as opposed to the endgame one, which is so much worse, um, but even the, even the weaker version of this, 99% of your power consumption is going to the Nexus. So defenses are basically free in terms of power. How about two of those ships side by side? <laughs> um, maybe. We can try it. I don't know if... Well, it's worth a, it's worth a try. Uh, I'll get back to Nalvis first. And before I do that, I want to see if we can make some relatively easy changes here. Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speed. Let's calm down a little bit. A catamaran? Like those planes that are just two planes joined together. Alright, we're getting rid of this. We're putting a nexus here. We're getting rid of this. And I just realized that it's not going to be as cool and easy as I imagined trimming this down because the energy shields are not going to be cooperating. We can definitely keep this part, but then where do we put some more energy shields? If I move these down here, then... We could have, like so. Can't really get these walls here. I'm not comfortable not having double shields. I've seen some of these just completely broken. Hmm. Yeah, 
I guess it has to be like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I was going for. It's gonna ruin the, uh, the nice shape of the shields. Hmm. If I move it just two tiles up, then we could move these back a bit, and then maybe... Also, we don't need that. I'm pretty sure that gap is too small for a big asteroid. It might be a bit of a risk. All lasers. You could remove the two lower lasers in the middle and then squish them together to mean like these ones because if I put, squish these two together there's a gap in the middle Just copy, paste, flip. Let's make this a triangle. Whoops. Oh, it is a triangle now. Lasers, why not? And we should probably make sure these are connected. to turn that off. Whoops, it's fine. Actually, I haven't been cheating antimatter canisters. We've gone through a few of them. Let's remove the extra floor out here. It's really just because of the limitations of aiming the shields that these are up here. Ideally, I would bring this back a bit, but then, well, I guess I would need a shield projector way back in here as well. All right, let's see how this does. Um, quest chest. All of it. I might just quickly put down some logi box. There we go. And also this. All right. Nervous orbit engage. Ding 26 C getting warmer by the minute. Going to be so many people going into work in the morning with sunburn and heat stroke. Ouch. Yeah, I saw a prediction for like 40 degrees Celsius in England, if I recall. Is that right? It's getting a bit dire to say the least. 
Is there a reason for using slanted shields? It doesn't increase the thickness. No, it's just trying to make it look cool. That's the reason. We'll be 39C Tuesday here in NL. Ouch. Yeah, we, I, I've, I've experienced 40 degree heat, but I live in Australia. Like, not Europe. A lot of people there are just not going to be prepared for it. Don't think we will get to hit too hard here in Denmark. Well, good luck. Uh, Summit? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. It's going to be 90% swamp. <laughs> one degrees later this... W one sea later this week in Victoria. Rip this winter. Yeah, it's been pretty cold. Absolutely. Uh, it's gotten to the point where... 12 degrees feels positively warm for me at this point. And I hate the cold. I really do. Uh, technically, maybe a big rock could break. I, I don't think it's possible for something to get through here. It takes big rocks to take down the shields. And the odds of something squeezing through this seems to be zero. What's our speed? 254. We're only down to 3,770 hull stress, though. Um, that's an improvement, but it's not, in terms of the research that we have to do, it's not a functional improvement on this design. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually get down to 3,500 or not. What is the ship integrity? Uh, 3,770. Well, that's the whole stress. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I want to trim this as much as possible. We could bring... Hmm. I couldn't have double forward shields there if I put this here is the problem. And I don't think this would even protect those walls from a big asteroid. I could bring these in by one tile. That's not nothing. But I don't think it's getting us to 3500. How exactly does streamline affect the ship? Uh, if you have sufficiently, like, slanty uh, front of the ship, like, if, if the front of the ship is not too blocky, if you don't have it, like, the front of the ship looking like this, uh, then you get a bonus to your speed, basically. Um, so if you look in the Informatron... This area of space is a gritty nebula, uh, nebula. If you streamline your spaceship, you can improve spaceship's maximum speed by around 30%. That's more than I thought I remembered. Making a flat box front should be avoided. You don't need to build a wedge. Up to one third of your spaceship's front can be flat with no penalty. Circular shapes should also be fine. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it seems we're out of antimatter fuel. Uh, antimatter canisters, that is. No, there just weren't bots to put them in here. It may be easier to just make a log with the 2x14 engines. Make a log. But yeah, 
This is a pretty easy improvement, but it's not gonna... It's not gonna get us spaceship victory one research earlier. One very wide ship? Yeah, it's kinda wide. Is this the last episode? No, we're doing this in editor extensions. This is just designing it. Uh, I may... I, I might... I think it's going to be a lengthy process if I try to make a ship that is one research threshold lower uh, to get this done. Uh, so I might try doing a bunch of that offline and see how it goes. Um, but tentatively, this or the other ship we made... Um, what was the hull stress here? The 3770. Uh, Nexus. 3770 victory ship. Uh, pretty much the only thing we're waiting on in our actual game, though, is just enough Naquitite to make this happen. Um, let's just... I'm not even going to save this, because we're just going to have to travel back to Nalvasolve it. We've got the uh, blueprints. Also Foenestra, indeed. I think it's good to keep some buffer above. Ship speed fluctuates. Yes. Well, yes and no. It doesn't necessarily have to fluctuate. Um, if you have enough accumulator power to support the shields recharging uh, when it hits a big asteroid, then you shouldn't slow down at all. So I guess we'll go play with Foenestra a bit more. How about the side-by-side -side ship? Oh yeah. Well, I would have to load up. I would have to sit through another load screen. Um... I don't know, it probably, it would be, it would not be very efficient. We've got enough power here for the end game Nexus. Maybe if we trimmed this away and stick this on the front and then do a side by side like that, um, that'd be a bit closer. But for now, I think we'll take a bit of a break from that and play around with Foenestra, see if we can figure something out. We do have an obscene amount of resources that we have to pour into research um, before we can unlock Spaceship Victory. We've only got, uh, let's see. We've only got 2,500 hull stress. So we need three more researchers, I think. Plus 500, plus 500. And yet another one after that, which presumably, this is the infinite one. So it's going to be 16,000. So 24,000 plus 4,000 Deep Space Science Pack 3s. That's just going to be a lot of waiting. Um, I could spam even more ships, uh, more mines, make the UPS go slightly lower. to bring that about a bit sooner.
Uh, all right, let's go to Foe and Estra. I should probably bring a construction ship with me. Foe and Estra. How about turning off everything that isn't needed? Yeah, we've pretty much been doing that. <laughs> we probably want the UPS to be higher. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I was thinking about... Aqu Aquim. On another playthrough, I would probably start mining Naquium the moment that it's possible. Like, try and just build up a huge uh, cache of it before I actually start consuming it. Like, delete whole planets with stuff on it? Yeah, we've been doing some of that. Uh, in fact... I think I was doing that with Tolibai. Oh, the biters are back. And we're gonna be in trouble. I could just use the glaive to destroy my own stuff. So that we can just delete surface here. But considering all of these are ghosts now... Um... I doubt there's a whole lot going on here, UPS-wise. Except for, you know, some biters. That's a lot of stuff. On a future playthrough, I definitely want to spend more time, like, jumping into sandbox and building something that's future-proof. Like, even when I don't have the wide area beacons, I can design a block that's going to fit for wide area beacons later on. And start making modules as soon as possible? Yeah, I guess. Just the spiders being active will lower your UPS. Oh, biters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say spiders just sitting still, I don't think, is doing anything. Alright, I think now is a good time to take a little break. Uh, let's fire up some words on stream. And the LTN screensaver. Can't you literally delete that surface, though? Um, not until there isn't a single entity on it that belongs to me, unfortunately, because I would definitely, you know, I would gladly just get rid of the stuff that I have on that surface um, in order to free up some UPS. Good to know, though, you could just delete it all. Uh... Yeah, after, like, I'm seriously considering um, using the energy glaive to just destroy the rest of my stuff on that planet, for example. So that I can delete surface. Alright, let's fire up some words on stream. And I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll get started in about 30 seconds. Good luck and have fun.
One more. One more. Rip. All right, shall we continue with some space exploration? Uh, let me just make sure we pause the words. Oh, we're still going to Foenestra. Five minutes, six minutes, one minute. Who knows? I'm a bit behind and limited to 2k integrity. Pretty proud of my ship design. Mind taking a look? Uh, sure. Uh, can you post it in the Discord, I guess? Fake letters are lame. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so who knows how far we are from Bo and Estra. Um, are we still making Tesseracts somewhat regularly? Kind of, not really. What have we got? Oh my goodness. Uh, copy to clipboard. Let's see. Uh, import string. What are we on? Ion engines? No, that's antimatter stream, isn't it? Uh, I guess there's a giant container where all those inserters are pointing. We got one reactor, half a, uh, what do you call it? Oh, we're, we're using ice instead of water to supply it. So how efficient are those engines up the front? I was rather disappointed with that 64% when we tried putting them up here. I wanted to link Factorio prints. Yeah, sorry, I haven't... I, I've tried to... Uh, make that bot make a bit more sense, but not so successfully. 
Uh, we got one turbine steam generator. About half the steam it needs to go full speed, but this is way more than enough for your average ship. That looks pretty neat. So what kind of container is that? Like a storage chest? Giant storage chest? I'm guessing... Since there's nothing, there's no inserters to output from it, it has to be bots, right? Do you have a Discord? Yes, indeed. Here it is. Oh, we have arrived. Alright, let me land this thing a bit further away. So it's definitely not going to be in the way at some point. Uh, construction ship is hot on our tails. It looks like a ship's anchor. <laughs> it does a bit. Definitely. Alright. I'm hoping this will be all we need fluid-wise here. Oh, the fluid ship should be here already, but I don't remember... Uh... I don't remember what it was named. Hmm... Um... No? I may, I may have forgotten to name it, which means... Which means I have to scroll through all of our spaceships until I find a default name. Novin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's Cartographer. Alright, so you are actually... Bonus for Thermofluid. It's going rather slowly. Oh. Oh, it's taken damage, but it hasn't... It's it's come very close to stopping. Uh, what's its ETA? We have no idea, because it's headed for Foenestra. Huh. Well then. Maximum speed was 144. It's looking pretty safe at... 90. Um... I guess, let me just turn these around first, and I might, whoops, 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 uh, I might just limit its top speed to 100. Oh, it arrived? Nice timing. And... This one can be less than 99. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. Anchor to Foenestra. Where do we want this thing? Probably about here. Linked it on the Discord. Fantastic. Oh, linked Factorio Prince. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did find it on Factorio Prince. And let me not forget this part. There we go. All right. So, what about our construction ship? I kind of need it. Calidus Asteroid Belt, heading for Foenestra. It's looking rather slow. Uh, what? No, not again. Wait, it still has power, so it's in the solar system. What? 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 It has... Well, it had, a second ago, enough power for the inserters to do their thing. 
Accumulator charge was definitely less than 90. In fact... What... What? How is... Okay, so we need... Oh, we're at a thousand degrees. That's not the problem. Huh? Did something break and I didn't notice yet? Target speed... Unlimited. Integrity check. Valid. We have heat. We have water. We have too much water. Oh, okay. This is a different problem. Uh, I'm surprised we have too much water, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised we have too much water, because the resupply thing for it... Wait a sec. Wait, wait a sec. Is it this one? Construction ship. Yeah, it's this water thing up the top. Connects to the pass-through. Water has to be less than 24,000. That should be plenty of spare space. Oh, I think I even... Yeah, no, this, this little cycle here was intentional as well. So not only... Oh, that pump is facing the wrong way. That would probably help. But still... If we're stopping when we detect 24,000 out of 25,000... Oh. Well then. That would probably be why. Not sure why, but this construction ship doesn't tell the pump how much water is in it. Okay. Let's check the others. Number one, already has the wiring. Uh, not op ship. Number two, already has the wiring. Number three, uh, is number three okay? Yes, yes it is. Oh, number three is the one that we just brought with us. Uh, let's put it over here, I suppose. And number four. Number four does have the wiring. Alright then. Lee, that's the last time I have to fix them. Alright, so... I might just keep this here for a second. And... I guess we'll just... connect this like so. We'll make ourselves a little bit of... Negative 10 degree thermal fluid, and see if the fluid input likes it. And after that, we'll give it negative 100. And after that, uh. Oh! Oh, that's one way to check. Heh heh heh. Alright, so it's not negative 10 degree. I expect it is not 
uh, negative 100 degree either. Yep. It's going to be negative 273 degree thermofluid. If it allows us to connect this without a bot. Cannot connect systems with different... Oh, this is the output. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say... Yep. Negative 20... It's 25 degree thermofluid output. And there's only one possibility left given that's the case for input fluid. Uh, thank you, Eldak. Alright, so if we if it allows us to connect this without using bots, that's it. As expected, negative 275 degree in and 25 degree out. Alright, so next is to connect this over here. And this over here. I'm so excited, did anyone call Daniel Jackson yet? What? Nipper, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we need to link our 25 degree thermofluid over here. And that's basically that. All right, so negative 275. Let's put it in this way, for starters. That power switch is kind of in the way. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, does that mean... Yes, it does. Alright, we have thermofluid. 1,000 of it. Going into Moanestra. Who knows if we need to connect all of these. I hope not. That will be 2,000. And... I guess here. Wait, what am I doing? That's not going to be the same. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Let's do it like this. tiles. I haven't really gotten around to watch this stream, let alone play Factorio as much as I'd like. Unfortunate. Oh man, you haven't seen Stargate? Not that much of it. Oh, was that what Mike... Uh, Daniel Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, this can... connect over here, I suppose. What? Oh, that's a 15. A derp. A 
Okay, so two of these have input fluid. Now what? Let's see if we can't... How much have we got left? Quite a lot. Let's see if we can't play with this a bit more. I hope there's some kind of indication if we need to get thermofluid to all of these at the same time. Also, do we still have our anchor at Calidus? We do. Do we need to set up a million more of these before we can do anything with it? How's our power? Power is looking good. It's not finding the anchor, which is weird, because it found it immediately before. Oh, here we go. What? No sad machine noises. What just happened? It's... We've got the 10 gigawatts consistently. It's powering up. Wait, did we have like... Oh no. Why is this happening? Oh no. Um... This thing was running consistently before, so... Oh, it's this thing? Wait. No, there's no way this is making the difference. How much power are we consuming? Almost all of it is just a beacon right now. It's 10 megawatts, which is like nothing compared to the 10 gigawatts that this requires. And this power plant... Well, let's see if we can't find... Some kind of problem with it. Also, the bots can't reach that. Uh, that's annoying. Alright, I guess... That's just out of reach as well. How about this? Oh, but when the ship comes... No, that should work. Anyway, we've got heat. We've got water. We've got... We're completely full on steam, which means we've been wasting fuel. How can we be full on steam, but... Huh? Okay, so there's no there's no water bottleneck. We've got three condenser turbines per high temperature turbine generator. Which like that's the smallest ratio we can get. Like if we wanted to be a bit greedier, we could have fewer condenser turbines, but we need like two point five condenser turbines per high temp turbine generator to get rid of the five hundred degree steam. So we're not, like, it looks like the problem is we're not getting rid of the 500 degree steam fast enough. And yet, I, I'd better be wrong about this. I, I think the actual problem is we're not consuming enough power. The reason this power plant doesn't consistently put out 10 gigawatts right now is because we've been running it really cold for a while and we've accumulated too much 500 degree steam. I kind of hope I'm wrong about that, but... It, it's... it seems probable. 
considering we've got plenty of absolutely everything and water isn't blocked. Oh, look at that. All I did was power it back on again, and so far we've got a completely flat line. For 10 gigawatts. Wait, did I... Yeah. Oh, what's this? Uh, I think this does mean that we need thermofluid in each and every one of these. Okay. Uh, turning it off and on again? Yeah. It's like we literally just flushed the bugs out of the system. Yeah, I think it wants us to put thermofluid into every single one of these. Alright. Fine. Be that way. I should probably come up with a, something a bit more neat and consistent than this. Because I'm pretty sure it all fits. No, the vertical ones are different. Okay. Alright. Fluid in, fluid out. Fluid in, fluid out. How many times? It, it switched off again. I, I think we just have to keep running it until all of that 500 degree steam. Now it's water. What? Because the pump isn't being prioritized. Uh... Can we not have Fo and Estras as a super high priority on the power system? So that the pumps work? No? That's weird. We've disconnected Fo and it. Oh. Oh. I see. I see the issue here. Okay. So, what did we set this to? Accumulator charge is full. That'll probably work. We've only got one accumulator, so it might just consume all of it before the power switch even reacts. What's a few pipes compared to the mysteries of the cosmos? Far too many pipes. All right, one, two, three. Uh, we're gonna need at least this much underground. We'll get some threes here. Mm, maybe not like that. And next. This, like so. That should be the same distance. Uh, I might need some... I was going to put down one of these, but I think... Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't want to accidentally power Foenestra. Just like that. Sneaky. Okay. Uh, we need some scaffolding on this side as well. And over here. That 
might actually be reachable already. Oh, the bots are going to need a recharger. Hurry up. There we go. Too late. Well, somewhat not too late. Let me just pick this up real quick. Wait, they're still all... Oh, they're all queuing for this thing. There we go. Weird that the ghost doesn't appear. Hmm, maybe it would have been easier if I just manually grabbed the uh, scaffolding. Since the player character can put it down at hypersonic speed. Also, speaking of which, that's a bit better. Just copy paste flip this or even rotate it. Uh, just to double check input at the top, output at the bottom, output at the top, input at the bottom. Okay, so I shouldn't have mirrored it. Rotate. And something similar here. Input. Wait, no, that's the output. Output, input. 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 Okay. So... They rotate the same. A data node. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Figure out the ring yet? Not quite. Took a little break to design an end game ship. Do you like SE so much that you put a ring on it? Clearly. Uh, these two should not meet. Tumbling satellite. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, is that actually nine times? No, of course not. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. And that's eight. Mm. Always good to be here. Thank you. If it was a giant wedding ring, I wouldn't definitely work if I was surrounded by cheap scaffold instead of luxurious platform. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, our power may be reliable now. Maybe? Depends on... Depends on if we've got all of that 500 degree steam. No, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, we definitely need... It, it's weird. We have to run this thing at high power to cycle out these output fluids. It doesn't prioritize them properly. Okay. Maybe... Maybe power plants like this should have pumps coming from 
the high temp turbine generators, so we prioritize getting rid of what's here first. One would hope that was not necessary. Alright, so... Underground pipe... Um, and this one's output. Nine plus four. Uh, that's not going to be seven and seven. No. Alright, 5, 5, and 3 is 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's two fives and a 9. Not getting better than that. Wait, what? Hold on. Fluid input. Oh. Oh, never mind. Um... So output. Why don't we just keep input on the inside and output on the outside, like we're already doing? That that would appear to make some sense. So this this is output, and this is input. And that almost lines up well. Just double your whole thing up? I don't want to. It's supposed to... When I tested this thing thoroughly, like, with, with, a, with a test load of, um... Let's see, uh, what are they called? Beam injectors? Uh, when I tested it with 11 energy beam injectors and ran it for a long time, uh, it consistently spat out 11 gigawatts. It could temporarily go above 11 gigawatts, um, and the longer it had been below 11 gigawatts, it, the longer it could go above without any flickering here. Uh, and yet, here we are... We've been running this at almost no, like, at, at like 1% for ages because this hasn't been connected. Um, and now it's just protesting. Seems like maybe now it'll work pro- no, this is still stuck here. Okay. Um, are we... We're trying to keep the water down to 12k, so we definitely haven't overfilled it just by putting ice in. There should be plenty of room for the water. Could you purge the lower temp steam temporarily? I could do that. Hmm. Is this... I would imagine this 500 degree steam is linked to here. This... the 500 degree steam is no longer... like it's quite empty now. On this side it's not, even though the whole thing is perfectly symmetrical. Okay. Alright. I guess we'll just give it some more time. Uh, that doesn't look right. And then... Like so... What's that, 13? Alright, 
seven, eight, nine. And then I want to change what we did here. Get rid of all this for the moment. Wait, what? Oh, super cold thermofloat is totally saturated. That didn't take long. Um, I would like it if we could do exactly what we did there, over here. I guess we're going to have to kill some thermofluid. Mostly this. Alright, so this one is negative 275. This one is 25. We'll sort the rest of this out in a minute. But first... And I guess technically we don't need to link it over here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, that's perfect. That, not so much. And 25. Sucks. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. But what's creating the stream antimatter reactors? Yes. Slightly primitive for a star uh, gate. What about it? The ring runs off steam power. Everything runs off steam power. Just, uh with different steps before the steam part. Why doesn't it just run off the antimatter reactors directly seems like a wasteful step, because then we wouldn't have to do the engineering ourselves. I think we should have a pump here. don't understand why this is so full. We've got a we've got a pump and this is 99.7 out of 100 and this has 4000 space in it. That's rather odd. Alright, I think it's time to run that experiment. Actually, if I... Oh yeah, I wanted to do this before. I could do it with an underground pipe here. It would add one more pipe to the water, which I don't like. Oh wait, we did. For the 5000 degree steam, we linked it up both ends. If I, lim if I link the 500 degree steam at the top and bottom, uh, I think we're going to see a change. Let me just move this out of the way. And this goes here. 9, 10, 11, 12. So all the 500 degree steam is in the one pipe network now, which means we're not going to get 
this side completely chockers full of 500 degree steam, while this side is completely empty somehow. Even though it's all perfectly symmetrical. Um, so now the output problem might be water? It looks like the problem is getting resolved. The fact that this part is empty... But, so why is this part full? Makes sense. need to do something about these middle ones. This one and this one end up having output problems. Basically, the water coming across like this seems to effectively get prioritized. Is water really the best medium we have to turn turbines? Surely there are better mediums for running turbines. Uh, well, it's one of the best mediums we have for turning heat into motion into electricity. Uh, if you had, like, unlimited budget, uh, I don't know what the best material or, or fluid or whatever would be. But... What is pretty abundant, at least for now. See, that part's empty now. But this part's not. I know we do have more steam condenser turbines than we theoretically need. So maybe... Maybe now... We're fine? Question mark? We did get a run that was like two and a half minutes without any issues before. So we're not out of the woods just yet. Convenient phase change points, really. As in the temperatures that it takes to push it to steam, for example. Uh, alright, I want to change this mess a little bit. Um, not a whole lot, really. Uh, I guess we could put a three... Oops. That's a bit neater. Alright, so we have thermofluid confirmed in all of these. Does this mean we actually do need eight anchors? Uh, I don't want to make eight anchors. Also, how do we even use this target thing? Uh, how, how do we make... How do we make light go green? on this part. Uh, what is it? Uh, at this stage tech, I'm sure some convenient uber fluid would be found. Oh, in Factorio. Yeah, probably. Wait, is the anchor those dimensional anchors? Yes, I think I have to make eight of these. And I don't know if they have to be in other systems or not. Well, 
we've got uh what are those things called again we, we've we've got something like the most expensive fidget spinner working beautiful Press R to move manually. Whoa. Didn't realize you could do that. Okay. Yeah, I actually thought I was cl cl uh, clutching at straws, pointing at this part and seeing if I could press R to do something. Okay. Did we just happen to run out of power then, or... Or was it something I did? Sixth Chevron engaged? Well, it's going to take its sweet time powering up again. I think I do need to do something about these four blocks of pipe in particular. Probably if I just do something like this. And that just instantly fills up, because of course it does. What about this? Is that going to actually start draining this thing? Oh, it would probably be better if we go down here. Six tiles. And I could maybe add a pump there as well. In fact, I kind of need to. Alright. That's actually... That, that's what it took to get this thing cleared. Alternatively, maybe I could avoid having this water pumped through here, through here. You would think we could keep all of this clear, though. I'm definitely going... Next time I build a, a big reactor, um, I'll definitely be... Where is it? I'll definitely be looking to this design again, where we've got each of the water recycle things coming straight back in instead of having to go through any big central bit. Alright. This part's still over full. I should calculate, actually. Um, if we're getting 11 gigawatts, why was it 11? Oh, I think it was bottlenecked on the heat exchanges. So we got 11.234 thousand steam per second. 562 times 20 is 11,240 divided by 1023.479. Uh, we can almost, almost run uh, 11 gigawatts off of that, but that's not counting the condenser turbines. 
Uh, if we do 10.98 times 214.931, that's how much steam we have to deal with if it was going all out. 500 degree steam. 3359.94 divided by 80 per second per condenser turbine uh, is 29.5. So we need 30 condenser turbines, and we've got 37. So you would think if... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I think we just barely... Just barely, literally just barely had too many of these that were able to struggle with their output under the worst circumstances. And literally just adding this pipe right here, mathematically it seems that just pushed us over the edge to where this should work properly 24-7. What are the odds of that? Alright. Uh, so now... Target? What? What? No! It uses more power? No! The 10 gigawatts was a lie. It uses even more power when we press this button. Are you kidding me? Alright, you know what? You know what? We're putting down accumulators. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It was not a coincidence that when I pressed that earlier, it shut the whole thing down. We're going to find out if this thing needs a burst of energy to deal with that. Or if it's just going to use more energy. Good timing on fixing power. Time to double it. Yeah, I think I'll go for a new design. Um... Something that's like a mixture between this and what we made on the spaceship. In fact, what we made on the spaceship was just pretty good, actually. In before it's 10 gigawatt per node. Oh god, no, please. Talk about padding it out. Alright, so we've got... Not enough accumulator charge. Four gigajoules? Let's have a peek and see what this does. What? You're... You're joking. Hold on. H hold on just a minute here. So, you're telling me... You're telling me 42 Naquium accumulators? 25 me me uh, megawatt each? That's another gigawatt. Uh, that's not that much. We've already seen it spike more than that. Well... I can't really see it spike a whole gigawatt, but yeah. I just realized the Nexus was X'd out. And his current research... what? Maybe look up the spaceships unless they are already? 
hook up. Oh yeah, no, that's not going to make much of a difference. Um, these are running on nuclear reactors. Oh, also, apparently I forgot that I sent two construction ships here. Uh, luckily they informed me by clamping to each other. So that works. Alright, I think... Honestly, I might jump into editor extensions to play with this next time. Because, think of how much time I could spend building another pl power plant only to find out. Yes, that is still not enough power. That's the spaceship version of holding hands. Isn't it cute? Adorable. We did get 12% done on Spaceship Victory, so that's something. I think, yay, we get one more week of the stream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we... I'm, I'm, I'm honestly going to have to run this game off stream quite a bit just to get the Naquatite that we need. Like, there's... Apart from playing with Foe and Estra and maybe going around picking up a few more art uh, a few more tier 9 modules, uh, and maybe trying to guess at what the deal is with those mysterious structures, like, there's not a whole lot to do at this point except wait for a frankly ludicrous amount of Naquatite. Each one of these ships is an antimatter ship, uh, 18, 1900 container stress, just moving Naquatite as fast as possible. We've got four belts worth of Naquatite coming from Stardust. Um, and that is still, like, it's still going to take quite a long time to get the endgame research done. Never mind any kind of let's see how fast we can go with infinite research kind of stuff. Um, 10,000 for spaceship victory, and then unless I can design a ship that is much, much smaller uh, than the one that we did, uh, built today in Sandbox, uh, we need another 4,000, 8,000, 16,000. So what, 16 and 12, 28,000, not including the product productivity bonuses, so like 14,000, uh, 19,000 Deep Space Science Pack 4s. Um, and each Tesseract is 32 Naquium Plate. Uh, that's ignoring all of the other Naquatite cost that goes into this. Uh, one Naquium Tesseract gives us uh, ultimately uh, eight Deep Space Science packs. If we pretend that Naquium Processes, Extended Deep Space Catalogs, um, Comprehensive Deep Space Catalogs, Deep Space Science Pack 3, 2, 1, Naquim cubes, catalog one and two, Naquim plate, didn't cost any Naquatite. What's the current game time? Uh, heat death of the universe time? Nope, only 31 days and a half. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Um, yeah, this, it, it, it shouldn't take this much, honestly, to get this stuff done. Alright, well, uh, that is just about time to wrap up for today as well. We've actually consumed half of our thermo fluid here. Oh, right, I forgot... Um, there's a lot of room for input here as well. 
we got what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tanks of twenty-five degree thermo fluid. Uh, negative two seventy-five, negative two seventy-three rather. These have an output buffer of a thousand. I'm still a bit surprised we've consumed this much thermo fluid. I hope this thing isn't eating thermo fluid just sitting here doing nothing, though. I, I can't actually tell if it's consuming. Okay, how about this? It doesn't appear to be consuming thermo fluid. Okay, so that's a small mercy at least. Running at only 20 UPS? Yeah, that's true, but still, like, the amount of stuff that I've put into moving Naquatite around, it's like, I want to say like 10 times uh, more than one would think would be necessary to just check the boxes and finish the game. Unless you want to go you know, X science per minute, uh, see how fast you can go, kind of build. Alright, let's see who is streaming Factorio for today. Uh, we got a few of the usuals. K2SE6, why not? You could speed up the game time, maybe? No. Um, the game is already going as fast as it can. By default, it tries to reach 60. So if I if I tell it to go, you know, 64... It, you could see it earlier today, actually, when I was using the sandbox. If I put it to, like, 64 times speed, it actually only goes, like, four or five times. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. I'd imagine a lot of the neck is buffered somewhere. Uh, yes and no. It's only... Like, uh, the, the amount of knack we've got buffered compared to our throughput is not actually that much. Like, we're, we only need one shuttle to keep up with it. And this... I, I, I almost... I, I've never seen this shuttle sitting here with Naquian plates. Uh, with It's got 16 chests. As soon as it gets here, it gets emptied, it leaves. The trains take like three minutes to take all of this Naquium plate. Take care, see you next week when doing K2SE, indeed. Oh, um, I'm gonna stream... Oh, it's only Sunday today. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna be doing an extra stream uh, to make up for the one I missed yesterday. Uh, so I don't know if I'll do Variety Stream on Wednesday instead. That probably would make the most sense. Alright, uh, let's drop in... Oh, it's actually getting late for me to press the button. Let's drop in on Ben Wu. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Discord of Blueprints if you like. If you have any questions, go for it. And we gotta go. Take care, guys. Hacks! Raiding with a party of a hundred and three! Holy cow, man! Thank you so much for the raid!